Howdy folks, thank you for tuning in. And today, rather than give one of my in-depth um, reviews of a set of binoculars going through all the specifications etc. Um, it's more about what a, a customer or a couple that came to see us at our optics weekend mentioned about this set of binoculars which I'll come on to in a, in a short while. And uh, our optics weekends are in, based in the UK and by all means if you'd like to try before you buy and you're not a fan of internet shopping you're more than welcome and I've, I've normally got about 45 sets of binoculars and a few spotting scopes, tripods, tripods etc etc on display. And this couple they specifically asked for the Hawk brand and so as always I've normally got a good selection of Hawk with me and so they had a look at the the Endurance, the 25mm models um, and the um, and the, and the and the eight times thirty two. They also had a look at a Nature Trek eight times forty two monocular, and then they went on to the endurance eight times thirty two, and they were very pleased with those. But then they picked up a very similar set of these called the Hawk HDX eight eight times thirty two, and they had one look through them, and went wow. Now, whenever a customer says wow to me, that means the image that they're seeing is better than they expected. And um, they did then ask, is there anything up from the HDX and uh, Frontiers? And these are the, I say, the 8x32, by the way. So, um, so I got this set out, which is the EDX 8x32 and also the EDX 8x42. They found the, the 42mm models, after trying these, a little bit heavy for them, but that, that's that's not a problem. I think these are, what, um, 520, 530 grams just off, off the top of my head. And they found them very light. And uh, one of the couple said that you could walk around with these all day and they wouldn't weigh you down. And also, with a, a, a shorter body than the 42mm models, they balance really easy in the hands. They're not front or back heavy. And so that sums up the comment about the... Um, the, we the weight and the handling and the focuser by the way with these is absolutely superb. There's no tight spots uh, No backlash nothing joy to use so that's the handling out of the way, but um, after trying a few looks through the HDX 8x32 and the EDX But first they, they couldn't really see the difference and they didn't think it warranted going for these but they, they continued to look through them and one of them said that I'm noticing that the edges are sharper with the EDX and the reason for that is the, the names in the title the these are ED glass whereas the HDX are not but that is not knocking the HDX in, in, any, way, in any way they are one of the best non-ED glasses you can buy in in that price range of £239 and with these you're going on to around about £350 so he mentioned sharper edges, like I say, these are, that's because these are ED glass or extra low dispersion or the light scatters less. So when you are looking at, let's say, a very high contrast sub subject like some birds in branches where it's very heavily backlit, uh, with the HDX and with a lot of non-ED binoculars, you may notice there's a little bit of purple colour fringing around the edge of the branches and the birds themselves. I say colour fringing, uh, it may be slightly purple or, or red or even green depending on which part of the image is, is off centre. But but with the HDX don't let that put you off because it is very very minimal and you might not even notice it and you won't in most situations. So with the EDX, extra, extra low dispersion, the light scatters less and so in high contrast subjects, um, as mentioned, such as birds in heavily backlit trees or maybe some wildlife sat on the top of a chimney, you will see much less of that chromatic aberration or false colour or purple colour fringing. And going a step beyond that, you then go on to the hawk apos, which I'll have to do a video about at some point, which um, reduces that chromatic aberration even more to a new level but they are a completely different price point. So that, that's a quick look at the Hawk uh, EDX 8x32, what the, my customers thought about them and, and why they bought them. So as always, I hope that helps. Thank you very much for tuning in.
and please check out the link in the description below.